up, what are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's my good nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for So Say No Amiyuji, aka Twinstar Exorcist Chapter 101. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos. And oh boy, we are hitting light speed levels of struggle. Holy shit. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. Also, because this is the final chapter of Twin Star Exorcist for 2021, after um, I finish my live reaction for chapter 101, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the chapter, um, my thoughts on uh, Twin Star Exorcist for 2021, and what I think is going to go down in 2022. So, anyways... Uh, last chapter of Twin Star Exorcist was obviously chapter 100, and um, we had a really interesting chapter because, first of all, I love what Tema fucking said about the flock mentality. I thought it was so amazing. Um, we also uh, had um, our boy uh, come in with a lecture. Oh my god, it was freaking amazing. We had uh, Segan come in and help um, Aramori and um, uh, Roku just get, you know, get their spirits up and help them get the fuck out. But in regards to Tema, he was talking about the scapegoats situation, which I thought was freaking, freaking brilliant. But anyways, um, our boy Roku is heading into the Magano to go be with his waifu. And the Neo, meanwhile, in the Magano, she getting her um a little bit of a, a brief on what she's gonna do to save the world anyway let's get to chapter 101 see what's in store for us this month and this chapter is titled a visit to Magano and of course the Kano sensei is delivering with this art I fucking love love Sakano sensei's art so much it is beautiful I love this color palette too you wouldn't think this color palette would work Especially with this green, but god damn it does. Anyways, let's get to this. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is all trash. If you don't like it, don't wear it. Hold on. That ain't trash. Even though I'm not gonna lie, he looks like Dolph Amigo. <laughs> One piece. Um, or you could go back to the outside world to find something better if, uh, if you have the guts, lol. Dude, the freaking Yege motif. Ah, oh, Sakeno Sensei, just keep on embracing the manga Illuminati. Just, just keep doing it. Hey, what's with the attitude? I'll kill you for a crybaby. You got a real attitude. Cut it out, you two. You've just arrived. This design is goddamn everything. It is. Um, now I know why you were late. You've been looting. What's up with the, all those clothes? Dude, can you blame them? <laughs> nice, huh? Uh, that's timing, though. <laughs> huh? Uh, where's Gabra? Uh, huh? How should I know? He'll come back sooner or later. No, he won't. Poor Gabra. Ooh. Oof. Look at Benio. Benio looks so pretty. Eat. We've got a long journey ahead of us. I don't want it. Besides, I'm a Kagari now, so I can't starve, right? Yeah, she hungry. She hungry. The Kagari princess must consume yin energy, otherwise you'll weaken and be unable to defend yourself. I thought a Kagari couldn't eat th things from the outside world. That, um, that food's been in Magana for a few days now. It's been permeated by yin energy. It's fine doesn't taste of anything. That's what happens to food exposed to yin energy. Besides, we don't have a sense of taste like humans. That means I won't ever be able to enjoy the sweetness of a hockey dumplings or the spiciness of curry again. And I won't be able to cook a nice meal for him. Aww. Over there. Oh, you're finally here. Well, it took you so long, Gagari princess. God damn it, this outfit is cute. Vithri Kimbasura, Yuzuriha. Um, not that 
Not uh, that rings mean anything anymore. This way. Welcome, welcome, Minio Amato. We ask that you come with us. At least she recognizes her married name. We ask that you come with us to help bring an end to this thousand year war. With your help, we may defeat the king of the Kagari without sacrificing the prophesied child. This must be Sakanashi. He's gone. Dude, if Rokuro was there, it, it's, they might not have to sacrifice the prophesied child anyway. Rokuro, uh, Rokuro, return to us alive. Um, we should go. Yeah, we need to help however we can. Here he is. Dude, this looks beautiful. This transition is everything, too. Let's be real. Benio, hold on. I'm coming. Wait. Are the Kigari just lo leaving Roku alone? Dude, I think they're really leaving Roku alone. They're just letting him do his thing, which is boss. The trail of Benio's spiritual power ends here, which means this must be where the Hub Force field is. Each of the main layers of Magano exists within a different dimension. Some say they exist in different timelines or alternate realities. Each layer is connected by a dimension called the Shozu River, like the River Styx. That is fucking cool. I love it. The Hub um, Force field is an entrance to the Shozu River. The um, leading gods of uh, Takamagahara have ordered the Myrid god to uh, gather and hold a meeting. Um, wait, I fucking read this wrong. The leading gods of Takamagahara have ordered the Myrid gods to gather and hold a meeting. The wild region gods were ordered to. Huff Force fields are said to be in, a, in to be hidden in several locations within the vast overlapping layers of Magano. At, at times, not a single one can be found, and a wide-ranging um, arduous search is required to locate a point of entry. Dude, this is so pretty. I swear to God, Sakano, what snacky are you eating? What special brownies are you eating? I, I really need to know this. I want some. <laughs> no data. Mm. This layer isn't registered either. It's ironic. I'm discovering new routes I would never have found if all of this hadn't happened. Hey, this is what happened when you're open-minded. I love this as a metaphor for being open-minded and broadening your horizons because you discover like new things when you're um, new ideas, new paths, new routes. Um, uh, in the case of science, uh, new scientific discoveries, when you're open-minded and you broaden your horizons, you never know what you might find. Here's another layer I didn't know about the fourth one. Hmm. Maybe I should uh, take a, take a break and rest. Whoa, it's been 16 hours since I left our world. My great yang form doesn't tire easily, but there's no day or night in Magana, so it's hard to tell how much time has passed. I'll get moving as soon as I recoup some of my spiritual power. I don't want to sleep too long. A tent that, uh, this is a tent that allows um, one to replenish a small amount of spiritual power through meditation, a camouflage spell that has been cast upon it to avoid detection by Kigari. Oh, right. Um, I almost forgot. What was it Arata wanted me to know? Um, it's only got a note in a video app on it. Hmm. Nice work, Rokuro. Um, inside this app, I've recorded the results of crucial studies on the thousand-year war between the Exorcist and Kagari. To be honest, I hope to have uh, more time to tell you about this, so I apologize for disclosing it to you in this manner. He sounds serious. The first thing you need to know is what happened to um, Yudo Ichika and what Sakanashi seeks. Huh? Ooh, this art is fucking fierce. What? The, what the? I didn't know anything about this. Was left behind and you fought. I had taught her I'd recover uh, Yudo's clothes and the remnants of his spiritual power in order to try uh, to recover it and regenerate Yudo's body. The purpose was to analyze the genetic composition of the great yin inside Yudo. On top of that, this was all under um, Aramori's father's orders? That guy is causing trouble from beyond the grave. Yeah. This background is freaking everything. I, God damn. But this here, when we're getting, where, um, where Roku, Roku wrote was just reading and we're seeing like everything that he's reading in imagery, in the imagery is freaking beautiful. I love this Kano. And then you were seeing like the transition back in the background going from that black to white is 
perfection, perfection. So Sakanashi left with the words, visit me in the abyss. Um, he must have kept me alive so I would pass this on to you. Forgive me for making such a spectacle of myself. All the records of former chief um, Arima Jimikado's um, um, investigations are inside the other folders. Please read them thoroughly. Whoa, so many. Damn, I can't read all this in one go. In addition, the video app contains, <laughs> contains my favorite anime magical girl, Bon Bon Vita. <laughs> when you feel down, she'll give you the courage to go. 877 episodes of all 18 seasons plus the movie and TV special. <laughs> Look at that. I don't need that. Hey, you never know. He's too much. I'll read these notes on my breaks. Time to get going. Hey, you never know. You might need that encouragement, but goddamn, he's scared. <laughs> Ooh, huh? What the? Oh, Kamui! Yeah, Kamui! Dude, Kamui's outfit is fucking fierce. I love Kamui so much. That's my man. I love him. This is no time to pick a fight with me. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a grudge match? Of course not. I just want to get back at you. Th that's what a grudge match is, you fucking idiot! Ooh, cut it out, will you? I don't have time to waste on this right now. Um, his speed and power are much greater than when I fought him on Tsuchimikado Island. I guess the battle advantage is reversed when a Kigari is outside Magano and a human is inside Magano. Well, duh. Kamui, wait, he's not... <gasps> what is he doing? How come you stop fighting? This is a waste of time. You have no intention of killing me. I don't feel any passion behind your attacks. So what is Kamui doing here then? Seriously, what are you doing here? Five minutes later... What are you doing? Say something already. Kamui, are you lost? You want me to tear it off? Tear what off? Oh my god, did you just seriously threaten to tear Brokuro's dick off? My fucking god. I discovered Benio with the other Basara, so I was chasing them to save her. What? But then I lost track of Benio's spiritual power, and I was having trouble getting out of the slayer. You are lost. Oh my fucking god. Why was he trying to rescue Benio? Does Kamui really... Rokuro Amato, answer me one thing. What's that? When I fought you in Magana before, you said the Kigari and humans don't need to battle. Huh? Oh, back at the Tower of the Heavenly Pillar. Why are we fighting each other? Did I say that? Right before we were interrupted, you started to say there was something we could do instead of fighting. What was that? I was going to say we could talk to each other, have a discussion. Yes! Huh? Do you seriously think you could end such a long-standing conflict with words? Depends. That's why I said we might, we might not need to uh, fight. He said not. He said might not. Uh, you know how they say the opposite of war isn't peace but negotiation? Well, that's what we say in the human world anyway. We both know the side uh, that loses this war will be annihilated, but did we ever talk things over before we started fighting? Exactly. The Kigari have killed a lot of innocent people, but I've killed more Kigari than I can count myself. That doesn't mean we should keep piling up hatred and sorrow. Keno, I fucking love you right now. This is so good. If war is our only option after we've talked, so be it. Um, but if we can understand each other even a little better, it's worth a try. This. 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 This is everything. Oh my god, it is. Because remember what was said a while ago, that... The key to destroying the king, and this is why the ki this is what the king has been doing, is um, this is why the king has been ha um, having the Kigari and uh, the exorcist fight each other for so long. Is this is a distraction so the king can do what he wants, and that if the Kigari and the um, exorcist united and fought this motherfucker together, then he would be destroyed. So, cooperate with me, Rokuro Amato. Sakanashi's plan endangers Benio. What are you saying? Uh, Sakanashi? He's the, master he's the mastermind behind all this? What is he after? 
Of course. His goal is to acquire the power of the Twin Stars, destroy humanity, and even the King of uh, the Kagari so he can fulfill his dream of a world populated only by Kagari. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that too. But goddamn, this fucking panel. It, oh, it's beautiful. Sakanashi is shrewd. It was his idea to attack your world. If we Kagari follow him blindly, we may live to regret it. Why would you want a, a Saimi Sakanashi's plan? I thought you wanted the world to belong to the Kagari too. I would rather that Fineo be happy. I love you, Kali. I'm not interested in a world filled with Kagari if it destroys Fineo. I'd rather destroy the Kagari. It's the obvious choice as long as you make Fineo happy when she returns to you. Of course, it would be a different story if you can't make her happy. Huh? Of course I can't. Dude... It's not just Rokuru. What about what makes Benio happy, period? Benio wouldn't want humanity to be destroyed. And Benio wouldn't want Kigari, the Kigari to be destroyed either. Of course I can. I know. Uh, of course I can. I know. So I'll do as I wish. You've got nothing to lose either, right? Is this what a discussion is? Yes. Kamui. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Thanks, Kamui. I'm glad we had this talk. Kamui's just like, whatever. Let's go then. Hey, Handshake? Handshake! I'm not getting friendly with you. Hurry up and show me the way. This little lost dude has a big attitude. <laughs> hey, this is some progress. Um, so where are we headed exactly? To the lair where um, Mikigari are supposed to meet up with Sakanashi. Benio must be there. But to get there, to uh, but to get to that lair, we have to pass through another area. One that will be very hard for you to get through by yourself. Is it that dangerous? No, it's not dangerous. So, what do you mean? What kind of place is it? Outcast Valley. Outcast, Outcast, uh, Outcast Valley? I didn't know Magano had um, place names too. Those like me, Minor Kigari, who turned into Basara, know very little about Outcast Valley. Those who live together in Outcast Valley called Wild Kigari, like myself, outsiders. Okay. The Basara who attacked Tsuchimikado Island were all spawned in Outcast Valley. What did you say? Hold on, what are you talking about? Those who lived together spawn. what kind of Kikari are they? There are less than a hundred living there until now. Um, there are less than a hundred living there. Until now, they never participated in the war between uh, the Kikari and the Exorcist. Whoa! Whoa. Oh! Oh! Keno? It's always the ignorant ones. It's always the clueless ones. It's always the outcasts that do this stupid shit. Yep. Yep, and they are being used as pawns. Why? Because they don't know any better. They don't know. They don't know what the fuck is going on. They are just, they are just being sheep. Dude, Sakeno, you are just amazing right now. You are blowing my mind with this. Are you telling me that Akas Valley is a, a village? Or, right, it's a village. A village? A village of Basara hidden in the shadows of our thousand year history. A village of Basara? Damn. How can that be? I've never heard of anything like that. I only learned of it myself recently. I already told I already told you that. Um, it's a place where the Kigari don't kill each other in order to increase their spiritual power and become Basara. Wait a minute. These are Basara that just want to be left the fuck alone. Just leave them alone. There are males and females like humans who give birth to Basara children. The children grow up and the cycle continues, or so I've heard. Maybe, maybe we need to see it to believe it. Okay, this makes a lot of sense on what what we saw um, during uh, the fight of Tsuchimikado Island. This makes a lot of sense if, in terms of the flashbacks. If, you, if um, you'd if you said you wanted to kill all the Kagari, I wouldn't have told you about it. I'm taking you there because you said you wanted to negotiate with us to talk. I can't believe it. A village of Basara, dude. 
By following paths only a Gagari would know, I'm gradually getting closer to the secrets at the center of this thousand year war. I'm discovering things that even the Association of Unified Exorcists and Gagari don't know about. Quite a few Gagari are panicking at the moment. I haven't killed a single human. Oh my God, we're moving farther down into an even deeper layer. The density of spiritual energy is um, much greater than on uh, any other layer I've been to before. So from what it sounds like, th this younger, gen yeah, this younger generation that we saw on Tsuchimikado Island, they were just, it, uh, they were just indoctrinated. That's what it seems like. They were just indoctrinated, she. Dude, if that is what you're going with, Sakeno, I want to know, first of all, because if that is what you are going with for this, and that Sakanashi was just being like one of those elitist shepherds using them as pawns, that is goddamn brilliant. It is. And, it, and especially with what Sakanashi wants to do, Dude, this is a Gari supremacist. But dude, it proves the point and that it kind of continues the point that the Gagari and the um, Exorcist are two sides of the same coin. And remember what was said a while ago about how the Gagari are what, you know, are what, uh, re or reflect what, um, uh, reflect human emotions and shit uh, towards them. So yeah. This, this fucking is amazing. I can just barely keep going, and that's only thanks to the great Yang spiritual power. An ordinary exorcist wouldn't be able to survive here for ten, no, even five minutes. If I arrive at a village of full of Basara in this condition and have to fight them, what? It's the spiritual power of a Basara. A powerful Basara is approaching us. Um, Seems like you're uh, looking for... Wait, a powerful Basara is approaching us. Seems like you're looking forward to this. Hey, what's an exorcist like you doing in a place like this? Honey! Uh-huh. Oh! It's the waifu! Yay! Yay! We're seeing her again! Holy shit! So she's from that... Remember what she said? She said that um she didn't... She never killed a human even once, so she's from that village. Dude... Okay, so let me give you my thoughts about this chapter. I love the direction that this manga is going in. I am. Because remember, um, remember what we got at the start of last chapter. We were seeing the ugly side of humanity. They were proving that they are the mon monsters that they are set out to destroy. They are. But, um, hold on a second. Uh, I gotta have the chapters in front of me see uh, where we started off in 2021 okay but um and then we're seeing and you know, then we're seeing this and we're seeing how negotiations and shit like this and it's so important to have content like this right now and this is something we've been seeing throughout this year um where it's what it's all about right now yeah you can make the argument about talking no jutsu and all that but this is one of those situations where it's kind of important to have this kind of discussion. It is. This isn't talking no jutsu. This is like just even not being so close-minded and broadening your horizons. Because look at what Rokuru found when he broadened his horizons a bit. And because you never know what you will find when you broaden your horizons. And it's not just him. The Gagari are just as close-minded. They are. Because they don't even know what they have. But anyways, let me... Um, get to here um let's see oh yes yeah, so where we started so where we are so where we were um at the beginning of this year was when Roguru launched his attack this was after he fully did he fully embrace soul at the time or no, he fully embraced soul. Okay, he embraced soul um, near the end of tw uh, in mid twenty twenty. That's right. Okay, so um, where we started at twenty twenty one was um, during the island massacre, 
and uh, Rokuru unleashed his fucking attack, and it was epic as hell. And we finished up the full, um, we finished up the uh, the um, Island Massacre arc. We finished this arc, and we had some beautiful, beautiful development. We did. We got the Z- the ZZ family um, arc. We had the, um, we even got a little bit, just thinking about it, because we kind of saw it in um, this chapter with the Outcast Village. We got to see the foreshadowing of Outcast Village, um, even before um, the Suchimikado, um Island Massacre uh, arc. We got to see that as well. And something that's been freaking amazing throughout this manga, even before, tw- um, you know, the chapters in 2021, we um, got to. We're, we're slowly starting to see how um, much, how similar the um, Kagari are to to humans, and I like that Sakeno is focusing on that. I do. I really love that because for the longest time, everyone's focusing on their differences, um, and that's why they're fighting because of because they're so different. But now, every, but now with the, and that's why the twin stars are so important is because they represent, um, with, um, uh, Benio representing the Kigari and Roguru representing humanity, they're going to bring everybody together and unite everyone to fight the true enemy, which, yeah, in the sense is the ki- I feel like the king is part of Endgame, but it seems like Sakanashi is part of Endgame as well. But you know, Sakanashi kind of represents the the um, supremacists that we see, and it's not just yeah. There's white supremacy, and those motherfuckers that say white supremacy doesn't exist or exist in today's society. That's a load of bullshit. It still does exist. It does exist. I am a Jew living in California. I have seen it all my life. They do exist, and shit still does exist because motherfuckers still blame shit on my on my people. So, I have motherfuckers blaming coro- these motherfuckers are blaming blaming Corona Sama on my people. That's white supremacy type shit. So, yes, still does exist, just in ways you went in traditional ways and in ways you didn't want to think that that it exists. I'm just saying. And anti-Semitism will always exist, unfortunately. Hatred will always exist, unfortunately. It's just a human emotion. And that's something that I really like that we're seeing in here as well. We're seeing, and we've seen, seen it in Attack on Titan too, is that we're seeing racism. We're seeing, and it's not like woke bullshit racism. We're seeing actual racism here. We're seeing, um, especially with the Kigari um, in terms of Sakanashi, Sakanashi kind of represents that. If you think about it, he represents that supremacy, that racism, that um, like when it, the extremism when it goes too far. And then you have the outcast village, which to me represents people represents like the everyday um, person. They just want to be left alone they have found a way to you know just just be they found a way to like not you know feed off of um exorcists they found a way to just you know live their lives as people i mean they're they're not feeding off of negative emotions from what it sounds like hold on let me go back to what it says here it's a place where the kigari don't kill each other in order to increase their spiritual power and become basara there are males and females like humans the um who give birth to bizarre children um the children grow up and the cycle continues these are people these are these kigari are people they're not they're not brutal it shows you that these kigari there are not all kigari are evil just like not all people are morons not all people are racist not people are ist phobes or um or yeah istrophobes there we go yes hatred will exist stupidity will exist but that makes us human or in this case makes it kigari kigari 
but they don't make up everybody. They don't represent everybody, like with the Kagari, like with like that small minority that we saw in Tsuchimikado Island. They don't rep represent them. They don't represent the majority. But I just find it interesting with what was said about the ones from Outcast Island that were on um, Tsuchimikado Island. Um, I want to go back to that too. Um, let's see. Um, where is this shit? Uh, the Basara who attacked Suchimikado uh, Island were all spawned in Outcast Valley. So they don't, so because they are in Outcast Valley, they don't know about the bigger picture. They were preyed upon. So hopefully we're going to find out and I'll get to the, now we're going to get to 2022 because I already talked about 2021. So in 2022, like what I'm hoping for um, especially starting with 102 and hopefully 103 as well. Um, 102, what I want to see is at least there is I want to get like the full lore for um, Outcast Valley. I want to see um, like especially what they know in regards to the situation. Um, I want to know like how uh, Sakanashi preyed upon them. Um, especially like the kids, if there was blackmail, threats, what whatnot um in 103 i want to see i kind of want to see what's going down with maybe like in 102 like have a split between what's going on with Benio and um the lore in um in outcast valley but i think more, more in 102 i kind of want like all the lore in outcast valley and then going into 103 go get the stuff for um Benio. And what's going on over there and then um then figure out like what's gonna go down um oh my god and then kind of figure out like the plan from there with what uh, to see what the people in Ak the B kigari and outcast valley want to do if they're going to train or whatnot like how strong they are in terms of spiritual power and then i kind of want to see if maybe like they'll decide if they're going to come together and help the people, the exorcists, the remaining exorcists anyway, train up their spiritual power and help them get ready for, you know, the upcoming fight against the king and um, Sakanashi. Because obviously we know there's something bigger going on. I feel like that might be the smart thing to do. But we'll have to see what uh, Sukeno will do. But there's so much that can be done. But I, at least for at least for next month, I really want to get the full lore for Outcast Valley. I can't wait for what Sukeno is going to do for Outcast Valley. I really can't. Um, I'm very excited um, to see what we get this this next year. Um, I'm thinking we're going to... Um, I think next year is going to be like setting up everything. Because we're getting into like the fi final arc, obviously. Um, I want to see at least the full setup for the final fight, like everything getting set up and getting, you know, and also getting more lore. I feel like that's, I feel like that's what 2022 is going to be more focused on is, is lore. And if that's the case, I am very happy with that. And I feel like 2023 will be when we actually, maybe even the end of 2022 is when we'll get to the actual fight itself. And 2023 will be when we get to the fight. That's what I'm thinking is going to go down in Twin Star Exorcist um, next year. And maybe in, in going into 2023. I'm very curious what you guys think. What did you guys think of this chapter? Are you guys, what do you guys think of Outcast Valley? I love the concept for Outcast Valley. I think it is so goddamn brilliant. Um, and it, got, it kind of gives you that, as I said, it continues with that theme Um of this gray area that um, Twin Star Exorcist has been giving us for a while now. And I really, really do love it. Um, and what do you guys think about what Sakanashi is trying to do? I think it's very sneaky and it doesn't surprise me. 
nah. And I love what Sakanashi is kind of representing in the extremist route. I do. And, and again, I love what Akas Valley represents in terms of like, you know, the evolution in terms of Asara. Um, and also, even though they've been around for like thousands of years, it kind of feels like they're, you know, representing like the future in a way too. Um, very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more um, Twin Star Exorcist content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.